Today we are looking at words. It's it's like the original Mastermind game, so our coloring is not going to be on the actual letters. It's going to be over here, and we don't know which letters the colors apply to. All right, so now I have two words to guess. Now this is like Dordle, where as I put, you know, if I put in nasty, it's going to apply it to both of them. Uh, I'm doing four of them, it's the same type of thing, but we're guessing all four, just like Cordal, but with the Mastermind type coloring. All right, so we're on to eight now. Now you'll notice there's only four and a bit on the screen here. Um, and I was confused about that at first because there's supposed to be eight, but I contacted the creators of the game and apparently it was kind of designed with like a touch screen in mind where you'd scroll, but uh, they're gonna add, they're gonna be adding a scroll bar, I think, at some point, but for now I can actually scroll by using the left and right arrow keys. So I think that's gonna work just fine. Um, we'll see what happens. So. Uh, I guess I'll start with alien and short again. And now I'm probably going to go ahead and do ducky, but I just want to look through quick and see, you know, if I had one with like four greens or something, I'd be tempted to try. Okay. I'm not seeing much. Um, it is, I do like getting all the grays on this. That's, that's actually pretty helpful. Ducky. Okay. Ooh, we got a couple words with a bunch of grays. Good. Three, four of them that don't have anything from Ducky. All right, that is helpful. Now, this one here is interesting because we've got five colors, so we know it's five different letters. There's not gonna be any repeats, and there's no letters that we haven't guessed yet in the word. So that's good. So, so we know there's a green, okay, and there's a green in each word, so it can't be like the A and the S. It can't be the L and the H. Um, so, let's see, what can we come up with there? What would be good? Um, if we had like, you know, the S and the L, then it's probably gotta be a vowel, which would have to be an E, so that's not great. Okay, otherwise we could do something like TH, if we use the yellow and the green from short, and then the others would have to be uh, oh, it could be something like thine. That would work. The I would be green, the E and the N would be yellow. I think I'm gonna just try that. Okay. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm going back to another word now. Um, over here, look at this. So we got a bunch of grays. So we know there's an A or an L. And we know there's two of S, O, and R in this word. Okay, let's... Look through, did we get anything? Oh, we got some stuff over here, the T and the H. Oh, we already had, no, we had the T and the H, okay, yeah. But there's an I, N, or E. Okay, so there's one of I, N, and E. It can't be the I. The I cannot be the yellow, because, oh, it can't. The I cannot be the green at the top. It could be the yellow. But the E and the N cannot be the green. So the green has to be the A or the L. And then the yellow has to be one of the I, N, or E. Interesting. So... Hmm. I think there's a lot of things we could still be going on there. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's look at this one right here. We got a bunch of grays. So, we know there's an A or an L. There's an S, O, or R. There's one from Ducky. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, this is the one that I thought might be thine. So let's look at this. So, what do we know? Okay, so the I is not the green, because it would have to be green down here. So the I could be yellow. The H cannot be the green. The I and the H cannot be green. The T could be the green. The, yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay, we know that three of T, H, I, N, and E are in the word. So two from A, S, A, L, O, R have to be in the word. What if it's the, you know, what if there's, hmm, what do we want to do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I mean, it could be, it could be R, N, it could be the greens at the first, you know, at the top. Uh, and then we would have, oh, but then, 
Maybe A-R-N? Something like that? Because we can only have one from... Or no, we need to have two from S-A-L-O-R. So the A and the R. And then we need three, so they'd have to be... Hmm, if it's A-R-N... We need to have, that's the green, so we need to have a yellow, so the S or the H would have to be in it. So it would have to either be something S-A-R-N, or H something A-R-N. So that doesn't seem good. We know it's not the I, could be the O. Could be O-N, something like that. Um, we could also do like ST, that could be the two letters from short, and then we would need three from H-I-N-E, one of them needs to be in the right spot, it can't be the I, so what if it's the N? E-I-N? Stein? That's possible. I don't know how likely it is. But, the nice thing about this is, we have several words um, where T, E, I, and N are grays for sure. So this lets us check if there's an S in any of those words. So that's not terrible. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. So four letters from S-T-E-I-N are in the word. Three letters from T-H-I-N-E are in the word. There is an S in the word. It cannot be the green. It has to be yellow. Because if, if S is not in the word, then T-E-I-N-N are all in the word. But then you'd have to have four colored ones in the one before it. So S is yellow, guaranteed. And we knew there was two from S-A-L-O-R, so there can only be one from A-L-O-R now. And three, and there's no H. There's no H, because there has to be three letters from T-E-I-N-N. Three for T, okay. So. Hmm, the green. Okay, and the N can't be the green. So H can't be green, S can't be green, N can't be green. The R could still be the green, potentially. But if the R is the green, then the E has, no, it can't be. If the R is green, we can't use A or L. Because we already decided we could only have two from S-A-L-O-R. If the R is green, the three letters in alien have to be I, E, and N. But the I can't be green, the N can't be green, the E would have to be green, the R and the E can't both be green. So the R cannot be the green. The H cannot be the green. So it's O or T that's green. Now T seems likely, because we've had T in both of these with yellows. Um, if it's an O, then... Yeah, I, th I think I like the T as the green. There's not, did we decide there's no H? I think there's no H. H is gray. H is gray, so there has to be an O or an R. So, it has to be O and R, and then, O or R, and then two from I and E. But they can't be greens. So we would need one from A or L, right. But we can't do one from A or L. Oh, interesting. Right, okay, so, if the T is green, then we have to use only two letters from E, I, and N. But, if we only use two letters from E, I, and N, we have to use an A or an L, but then we would have, oh no, no, I'm counting wrong again. Okay, if the T is green, these are both gray. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. Okay, so we've got T. We've got two from E, I, and N, and one from A or L, and the A or L has to be the green, I think, unless the E is the green. Could be something E-T. S-E-T, maybe? Inset?
Now the problem with inset is, I mean, it's possible, but looking at the other words, um, you know, we kind of already know what's going on with those, right? Like this one does not have an S. Now that's interesting. So the O and the R have to be yellow here because, oh, oh, I didn't want to go that far. There we go. Um, the O and R, because the gray is here, two yellows. So we've got one from AL, two, we've got the O and the R, and then one from Ducky. So what could that be? Something like, or, no, we only got one from AL. Coral doesn't work. Uh, cor um, crowl. Um, uh, crowd? No, we can't use the C and the D. We need an A or an L. C, A, Carol? No, only one from A and L. So we either need, right, we either need to use a letter we haven't used yet or a repeat letter. What about R O L? I don't know. I'm just. I'm just. Ooh, Roach. Roach could work. R O A C. Oh, we have, don't have an H. Nah, not an H. P e R O. We need something proud, but we only need one from Ducky and one from the A and the L. Okay, R O. A road road works, but you need something another letter. R A something O Ooh, ro oh, I was gonna say royal, but we only have one from A L. Okay, I'm not sure on that one. Let's let's come back to that. Okay, we've got two greens in Stein, two greens in short. The T cannot be the green, it has to be gray, because it would have to be green. Oh, no, 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 because it could be the yellow. It could be green up here and yellow down here, couldn't it? Okay, well, in thine, the I cannot be the green, because it would have to be green up there. Again, it could be the yellow. It's nice when you get greens like this. Okay, so the S, the H, the O, the R, the T, yeah. But see, that doesn't... Doesn't work as well. Okay. Um. Man, I just I don't know I don't know enough yet. Don't know enough yet. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the H here cannot be the green because it would have to be green down here. Oh, but again, it could be yellow. You want the ones that have a green with grays. Those are like here, ducky and thine. These are helpful. Okay. Right, here, so thine. If this is green, that would have to be, No, that could be yellow. The H. Okay, finally. This one, this one has to be gray, because it would have to be green up there. Uh, this one can't be the green, because it would have to be green up there. Okay, there we go. Now, the N or the E could be. But only one of the N and the E can be in there, because there's only one green here. So the N or the E could be in, but then the A or the L would have to be. Oh, okay, this is something. So we know a T, N, or E is a green here. So the T, N, or E has to be the yellow down here. So there's no I or S. So the S is gray. So there's an O, R, or T. I don't know. There's just, there's just so many possibilities. D could be green, the A could be yellow, something like daily. No, we can't do daily. We could do the L, but we can't do, we can't do the Y, we can't do the I. Uh, D, A, T, no. Ah, if we don't do the T here, then it has to be the N or the E. Something like that. But then we can't use, we have to have an O or an R. And then a letter we haven't used yet. 
D-A-R, something like that. Otherwise, it could be the N, that's the green, yeah. Then, I don't know what's gonna come. Otherwise, you could do N-O, something like this, but again, I don't know what's gonna, okay. I don't know, I feel like I don't have nearly enough information. I'm gonna come back to this one. This is the one we know the most about. T is yellow, if that's green. We need to have two from I and E. They can't be in these positions. We need to have an A or an L that's... Yeah, unless the E is green, the A or the L has to be green. So... L. What about light? No, there's no H. We need to have two from I, N, and E. Yeah. But the E, ooh, the E can't be in unless it's green. If the E is not green, then it's... Oh yeah, it can. It would just have to be early on. It would have to be like L, E. Uh, L, E. Oh, but then... No, because the if the L, if the A or the L, if the E is not green, then the A or the L has to be green. So it would have to be something else. So E L, maybe, and then. But then no, the I. Okay, right. The I would have to be early on because it can't be at the end. Because the T is the last letter. So something. Least. Does that work? No, we need to have an I or an N. That almost works. Something EST? Nope, because the E can't be there. The E has to be early on if it's EAST. No, because the A, yeah. L E something S T. What is this word? No, no. Okay, so I don't think the A or the L are gonna be green. I think the E is gonna be the green. So it's something set maybe. We need an we need an I or an N, and then an A or an L. The I would have to be at the begin inset. No, we can't do I, N, and E. It has to have an A or an L. Eyelet. I think that's a word. I'm not even really sure what that means. Is that like a small island? I'm not even really sure. Let's try that. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's a really hard word. <laughs> Uh, I'll put on the screen here what that is. I think it's a small island, but oh wow, okay All right, well, what did that do for us? It helped us over here. Look at this. Okay, so there's an H Oh, the N has to be the green which means the N here is the yellow which means there's no H That N is the green the A is the yellow. Oh, that helped a lot actually Okay, so there's an O or an R There's an A uh, Something O A maybe Something N? We need a... We need something from Ducky. Don't think that works. Um, something... R-A-N. What about that? What about... Hmm, the problem is, the only vowels we have are A, maybe an O, and then we'd have to use one from Ducky. Um... And we can't do R and O. We can only do R, O, or O. So I can't do groan. Something O, A, N. Work, wouldn't it? We need a letter from Ducky. Hmm. No, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so what if we start with C? R. No, we can't use an O then. A, something N? Drawn. Draw no, we can't do drawn because the D can't be in that position or it would be green. That almost works. 
Interesting, so I don't feel like it's probably the Y because Y is usually at the end of the word, not necessarily, but. Okay, could it be something A something O-N? You know, something like radon, but we can't use the R if we use the O. A-N, saran, like saran wrap, but we can't do an S. C-A, something O-N, cannon. We could do a double N. That's not bad, let's go with that. It was cannon, okay. Um, okay, over here, we've got two greens. They have to be the C, A, two of the C, A, and oh, we've got an L is green. Okay, L is green, which means the L is yellow, which means there's not an A, so the C and the O have to be greens. Oop. That's great. Okay, so C, there has to be an R. It's not going to be C, R, L, so it's C something, L, O, R. Uh, it could be color. Color would be good. This is the yellow, so these are all grays. I think color with an extra O. Okay, color. Um, let's come back over here. So we know there's only one of A-N-N. -N. It's yellow. Could be... Th Ooh, there's only one, so it can't be the A and the N in alien, which means one of the yellows has to be the I or the E. But what does that tell us? I don't know. Could the SH be the greens here? If they are, this would be green, that would be green, this would be yellow. It's possible. Could the T be green? It could be. The S and the T could be green, the T and the H could both be the greens up here. So any combination of short works out. So let's 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 assume it's the SH for a minute, okay? That means there's no T. We know there's one from IE in the word. Because there can only be one of A and N. So there's one from IE. One from IE, there's no T. H, IE, the N would have to be the third one in this. The N would have to be yellow. The I or the E would have to be yellow. S would be green, no T. There's only one from IE, the N, okay. The N would have to be yellow then. Because the N would be yellow up here. Oh, no, 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 this doesn't work. Because if there's no T, we need to have four letters in this word. We've got the S, no T, so there has to be E, I, and N, but we already know there can only be one of E and I. So the S and the H cannot be the green, which means the T has to be one of the greens, which means the T here is one of the yellows. This T is the green. Uh, the E cannot be green. It could be yellow. The E or the I is yellow. We know the E or the I is yellow, so the S has to be the other yellow, because only one of E and I is yellow. Okay. Now, could the S be the other green? It could be. So we know only one of E and I can be in it, so N has to be one of the letters. So it's either yellow, or it can't be green, it has to be yellow. N is yellow, therefore, this N is yellow, therefore there's no A, no A. There we go. So, one from I and E is in, so the S has to be in. This N could be green. There's no H. There's no H, because there's one from I and E, there's a T, there's an N. No H, therefore the S is the other green. This is green, green. So the E or the I is green. It's not green up here, which makes sense. This T, okay, E or I, so E, E. Okay, so we've got S something, something T. There is an E or an I and there is an N. Now, N here makes sense, right? Well, this E can't be green, and the I can't be green. If the E or the I are green, this E can't be green because the T is green. This I can't be green because it would have to be green up here. So the N has to be the green. So we have this. Now we need to either have, and in this word, the I cannot be green because of the N. So it is gray, the E is green. So it's something E-N-T, and it needs to be a letter we haven't used yet, spent. 
or or a repeat letter, but it can't be the T because of the yellow T up here. So it's got to be spent, I think. Let's see, the I is gray. The E is yellow. The I is gray. I think it's going to be spent. Let's go for it. It's spent. Okay. So we've got four words out of the eight. Uh, this, I don't know much yet. Let's see. I want to look over here and see what I've got. The ones with lots of grays seem helpful to me. Okay. So here, color only has two left. So the L and the C have to be yellow, which means this C is yellow, which means the rest of these are grays then because there's only one yellow. This C, ooh, we know it has to be in the word and there's only, the only option is for it to be green. So there's no D, U, K, or Y. So the C is third, which then means what? We've got C, we know there's an L. So the L is in, it could be, it could be, um, or yellow or green. There's no A, there's no N. Down here we only have one from P, E, and N. Oh, there's no N. So one from P or E. So if the E is gray, then we have to have L and I both. Oh, interesting. So this L can't be green because, oh, it could be if the E was green. Actually, if the I was green, right, if this L is green, Then the L is yellow, and the I or the E would have to be. Oh, but it could, yeah, that could work. Okay, never mind. Uh, this I cannot be green, so it would have to be green here. So it's the L or the E that's green. The green E means it would be green down here. Okay, we only have one from I, E, and N. One from I, E, and N. Yes. Okay. I can't be green. If the L was green, it would be the yellow down here. Actually, we only have one from E, I, and N, which therefore means only one of E and I can mean, which means the L is one of the, oh, we already knew L was one of the colors. Okay. This L is yellow. Okay, so if it's the E, then we're gonna have C, E, could have C, E, L. Ooh, it could be like Excel. Because we're going to have to use a letter, I think, I think a letter that's not, that we haven't used yet. Excel could work. I'm going to try Excel. Okay. We're up to five. We've got three guesses. We've got six guesses left. Three words to get. This is crazy. Okay. I thought for sure I would be dead in the water on this one. Okay, so let's look at eyelet here. We've got three letters, the I, S, and T have to be in the word. I, S, and T have to be in the word, therefore N is gray, N is gray, N is gray. So there's an A or an I. We know there's an I, because there's an I, S, and a T. So the A has to be gray. Now the O has to be yellow. This is a yellow O. Ooh, that's not possible. This is where I need an undo mode. Ah, shoot. Okay, Excel is all green, or it's all gray. Let's, let's undo the N's. I think maybe the N is where I messed up. Okay, so we know there's no E or L. So E or L, there's no ducky, no E, no E, L, no C. Okay, so now we're back to what we know for sure. Okay, so there has to be an I, S, and T because we have three letters here, and the L and the E are gray. I, S, and T have to be in the word, so therefore the three, and so there cannot be, the N has to be the gray. And if N is gray, then N is, N is gray. I mean, you can't have an N anywhere if you have that gray N. If you had two N's and one was yellow and one was gray, then that would be different. And so now there has to be an A or an O but we said there had to be an I, S, and T, so the I up here has to be the yellow. Which means there's no A. Which means the O is yellow. Oh, yeah, no, no, this works, okay. I don't know what I was confused about. That means this green 
Oh, is the green. Yeah, 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 that's great. Okay, I was trying to make this yellow, but it's not yellow because there's one before it that's green. That's the problem. Okay. Okay, now we're good. There's, so there's no R. R is gray. There is an I and a T, so that means there's no H because we only have two clues here. Uh, we know there's an O, so this is a yellow. We know there's a T, so there's an O, T, and F. Yep, yep, so... There has to be an S, P, and a T, so it's gotta be... S... Oh, uh, what? S, I, O, T, P? Yeah, it's gotta be S, I, O, T, and P in some, some combination. So either the S is at the beginning, or the T is at the end, which means the P is gonna be yellow, because one of these two is gonna be green. I, the O is second, so it's not gonna be I, O, probably. So that's gonna be yellow. We know this is yellow, because of the I up there. This one could be the green I, or it could be the green, the O that's green, or the, the S that's green, I mean. Oh, this T is yellow. So there's no T at the beginning, so it could be S, O, S O. What about P O S I T? Posit, posit. I think that would work. That would make the T green, the I green, the S yellow, 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 yellow. Yep, I think that works. Let's go with posit. <laughs> nice. Just for completion's sake, I'll make that one green. Okay. So, let's go back to this one, because now we've ruled out some more letters with the grays here. So, what do we know now? We know there's one from C, L, and R. There's one from E and N. There's one from E and N here. So, if it's the N, then we have to have an L. Okay, we know there's one from L and E, because of eyelet. So, in Excel, we can't have an X or a C. Because there's one from E or L. So that rules out those C's, this C up here. We still need to have one from Ducky. There's one from L and E, there's one from E and N. It could be L and N, or it could just be the E. Ah, can't be the N. If the N is green here, this would have to be a green. So the N has to be gray, which means the E is the green. So this is the yellow, this is the yellow, there's no L. This is yellow, this is yellow, oh no. Actually, this one is yellow. That's fine. Uh, there's no N, which means the A is yellow. This R has to be yellow. This N is gray. N is gray. E is yellow. A is yellow. A L is gray. R is yellow. Doing good. So this can't be the green, because we already have the E there. So we need one from D, U, and K. It has to be green. We've got E, A, and R. Well, we've already got the E, so we need an A and an R somewhere. D A R Otherwise what R U A No oh the A can't be first or second so D if it's D R A Dre No what about the K something R A K E Break Break would work I'm gonna try break. Okay, we got break, so we're up to, how many, what do we got? We got four guesses, how many words do we have left? Is it just the one? Oh, I've only got the one word left. Okay, I've got four guesses, so. What do we know, what do we know? Not much. Um, so there's two from E-X-E-L. I mean, the X seems unlikely, but it's possible. There's only one from A, N, and O. This L could be the green. This E could be the green. Interesting that two are in the right spot. So it could be EL, which would use up our green and our yellow and alien. If it's EL, that would also use up the yellow and break. There would have to be two from posit and one is in the right spot. It could be the OS, which could be the two yellows in short. OSEL. Is that a thing? I don't, I don't know. That doesn't seem right. Now, interesting, the two from short have to be in the wrong positions. Uh, I mean, it could be something like TH, right? Um, something like ITH, maybe? 
No, that doesn't work. Um, okay, we know only one from A and N is in, so one from L, I, E has to be in there. This cannot be the green. The N can't be the green there. But it could still be the yellow and be the green here. Okay, if we use E and N, no, we can't use E and N because if we use E and N, one of them has to be the green and down here, one of them has to be the green. So that doesn't work. So we can't use E and N. We can't use N and A. We can't use A and E. So we can only use one from A, E, and N, I think is what that means. So there has to be one from L and I. And if there has to be one from L and I, it's gotta be one of them here. What if OR are our two from short and then they're in color here? Does that work? That would be our, our R here. But that's okay. We could end with R. Um, use the O somewhere else, like second. R, like ER, does that work? We'd have the green here and a yellow, no, we'd have to have a green O, so we can't do that. So it would have to be somewhere else, like in the middle, but then you, yeah, so that doesn't work. You can't do OR. Okay, we know that there is only one from A, E, and N. I think we've decided that, because there's one from A and N from Canon. There's one from, isn't that what I decided? A and N, there's only one. N and E, you can't use both, right, because one of these has to be green, but they're flip-flopped, so between Alien and Thine. So there's only one of A and N, one of E and N. A and E, there's only one because of break. So you can only have one out of A, E, and N. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, I've got four guesses left, which is more than I was expecting, actually, at this point. I actually thought for sure I was gonna get like three words out of the eight and be done. Um, so, uh, we also have a pretty good idea that we need to use an O, otherwise it has to be the L and the R here. Now, could we do L and R? Is there any reason we can't do L and R? If we do R, we can't do A, E, or B. Ah, if we do R, we can't do E, so it would have to be L and X, which would have to be greens. Right, but one of these two would have to be, oh, the R? No, because the L would have to be green, but th that would mean the L and the R both here are not green, so we have to have an O, we have to have an O. Okay, we have to have an O, which means we do not have an A or an N, I'm pretty sure. Fairly certain. Um, the O has to be yellow. Now, this is not necessarily a yellow O, as we found out earlier. This one could be green. Uh, this one is definitely yellow. There's no A. Now, we said we could only have at most one of, oh, but we don't have to have one of A, E, and N, do we? I don't think we have to. I said we could have at most one. Um, oh, the O here, oh, again, it could be green or yellow. Okay, we can only have, oh, we have to have two, no, we don't. I was gonna say we have to have two of T, E, and I, but we don't, if we have an S, then we have one, of, we have at most two of T, E, and I. That doesn't, so either, the, either there's an S and an H, or neither. But we can't have an S and an H, we can only have one of S and H. But if we, if we only have one of S and H, look at it either way, if we have an H, we have one of T, E, e and I. We have one of T, E, and I here, we have to have an S. Same vice versa. So we can't have S and H, therefore we can't have S or H. So we have an R or a T. We have an O. No S, no S. We have an R or a T, and it has to be in the wrong position. We only have one of T, E, and I. We only have one no, we have two of TE. We have exactly two of TE and I. TE and I here, we need to have three in eyelet, so L has to be in. It could be yellow or green. We don't know. But it has to be in. I don't know how to mark that. Um, but there is an L, so we have an L. We have one from E and I. 
So we have to have one from E and I, only one from E and I. Therefore, the other one in T, E and I out of the two has to be the T. And again, it could be yellow or green, I feel like. Could be yellow or green down here too, but we have T and L for sure. There is an L, there is an O, so the R is gray. Which means there is a T, that T is yellow, that T is yellow. There is an L, there is an E or an I. This was green, that would be green. This would be green. Okay, we have an L, we have a T. This has to be a yellow, because there's only yellows in here. This one is yellow, this one is yellow. E or E is in and is yellow. We know there's an O, we know there's a T. This has to be the green of the two. There's no I, therefore, there we go. This is what we needed. These are, uh, which one's green and which one's, okay. So, this one's gonna be gray, no matter what, because this is either yellow or green. There is an E, there is a T, Yes, so there's no P, there is an E, there is an, there is an L, there is an E, so there's no X here. There is an L, which means it has to be green here, which means it's yellow there, yellow there, yellow there, this is green, this is green, this is green, this one's gray, this is yellow, so there's no R or B, which we already kind of knew. This one's yellow, so this has to be the green, then, for the T. I think that all works. This has to be green. So it's T-O something E-L. Towel. Towel. How about that? More confetti. All right. Well, that was insane. I guess, theoretically, I should go on to 16 now. Um... I wasn't expecting to make it this far. Uh, I know, I've been in this situation before. Um, I do have to take my son to baseball practice pretty soon. So, I'm gonna say the 16 is to be continued. Um, I'm gonna end this here. Uh, I am gonna probably try the 16 later tonight. It will probably be a separate video. Uh, because I, I want to go ahead and get this one edited and posted and the one tonight I'll then edit and post maybe tomorrow or something so to be continued um, Stay tuned for more and now if you're watching this after you know, it's been up for a couple days I'll have a link in the description and probably in a card up above to that second video which may be really short 16 is a lot. I don't know what to expect. I wasn't expecting to get this many so There you go. So Thank you again to all of my members. I'm gonna put them all on the screen over there. I haven't listed all of them for a while. Thank you, thank you so much for being a member of the channel. If you would like to become a member of the channel, click the join button uh, under the video if there is one, otherwise link in the description. Um, thank you to the creators of Words Mania for letting me know about this and for creating the app. And let me know if you tried this, how you did, how far along did you get, were you able to get 2, 4, 8, 16? Uh, I, I don't know how far it goes, 32? I don't know how, how many times I can keep increasing, but yeah, let me know how you did with it if you tried it, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. This works just like normal Wordle, except instead of getting the yellows and greens on the actual letters, we're gonna get numbers on the right side over here that will tell us how many greens and how many yellows there are. Oh, we can do another P. We can do another P, apply. Bouth? No. Douth? No. Ah, uh, what is this? Tauth? I don't think Tauth is a word. Oh, no. No, no, not necessarily, because we could repeat the E or the O. Ozone would be really good there, and that would be a really tricky one with the Z.